Good morning everybody, hello internet and welcome to yet another one of my videos. Um, this morning is a bit of a late one, I had to rest. Had a lot of my plates and um, I cannot elaborate on a number of things, but I will in due course. There are some developments that have taken place which shall require uh, for me to bring to you soon as it's all taken place and materialized so one step one at a time welcome to my newcomers this is all about motorcycles for now we do food we do anything that's worth worthy of uploading on the internet so uh, today we're going to go to Van der Vale Park which is not too far from Johannesburg a 90 kilometer trip roundabout to a place I've never been the race bar I think it is a lot of the uh, motorcyclists go there as a good excuse to go have a breakfast on their bikes so Let's get it started. I'm going to do a little bit of footage on the microphone as well. So let's just warm her up first. She's a little bit dirty, but as uh, I, as you saw, I've had the bike standing as a result of some advice I got on the internet, on you guys, on, on one of the comments that you left behind on one of my previous videos. So yeah, I'm uh, letting you warm up standing up. So I'm going to set, set it up and hopefully bring you something uh, useful and practical and entertaining. So I'll see you on the other side and perhaps even on the road just before I arrive there. Is almost a hundred later, and here we go. The Rossi sports ball. <laughs> it's uh, I found this on the net, so wish me well. I think this is going to be cool. There's only two bikes so far mine and somebody else's. There's a Scandinavian flag, I think it's Norway, and uh, pretty excited to see what the atmosphere is going to bring us. Unfortunately, the weather is uh, disappointed somewhat. Bike is welcome. This is a uh, Rossi takeout. Alright, let's go see what this place has to offer. The colors certainly resemble the, uh, uh, the Rossi colors. And this of the sun is still out, uh, but the wind is disappointing. I mean, at high speeds uh, on a motorcycle, you can just imagine. Uh, I can't elaborate on details there, but what I can say is uh, that the wind does become a point. So, two bikes so far, it's uh, not that early, but uh, like I say, the weather might have disappointed so much. So, let's go see what this place has to bring us in the premiere. I can't remember that. It's a thousand. So, and yours truly. Now, let's go see what the food is like and the ambience. I probably should warn them that I'm filming. So, yeah, so far so good. The trip was pretty, uh, uh, pretty cool. I have to admit, I still have a bee sting stuck in my neck. This is the first time that's happened on a motorcycle with me. And uh, look, some koi. Uh, I'm gonna ask somebody if they can remove it for me because it's really, uh, unfortunately, it didn't go deep enough to really cause a problem. But I did feel the pain was a little out of uh, the ordinary. Someone on. It's my first time here. Can I film? Yeah. Uh, it's going on YouTube. It's to advertise. Yeah. But I've got, you see the bees bite me? Yeah, there's a, there's a thorn there on my neck. Let me stop here. Hold on. Right, the gentleman was kind enough to remove the... Uh, which side? Is it? Oh goodness, not the first one. <laughs> Today's a film day. There's others filming there. But yeah, ah, my purpose is a bit different. So here we go. I'm just going to bring you a little uh, intro to the place. And of course, the paraphernalia is going to be pretty much what you see. So where can I sit, my friend? You got coffee, eh? Yeah. Americano black. 
Americano black piece, black yeah. And then a breakfast, no? Yeah, please. I'm gonna see where I'm gonna sit. I still don't know. So okay, uh, pretty cool. I think for motorcyclists. Ah, uh, where else would you wanna come? Uh, perhaps I should rephrase that. The uh, atmosphere is certainly wonderful. Uh, there's all. Uh, that's not. That's not Rossi. Anyway, uh, let's see what else this place has to offer. This is the kitchen, and everything is V46 here, as you can imagine. And I know I'm going to attract a couple of friends here. And of course, they've got an outdoor section for the kiddies, which you would have in South Africa. I mean, you wouldn't travel 100 k's and you can't bring the kids, right? So, there we go. I'll bring whatever put the jacan later on I'm just gonna enjoy the brekkie now this was just off the R59 and then in front of the bale box somewhere and I hope you enjoy uh, what I have right so a very quick and brief uh, description of the events that have taken place recently uh, but first of all uh, I just want to mention something that uh, came to mind the last time uh, that I spoke about motorcycle safety and the price that it comes attached to. Uh, I have to tell you, uh, I've been fighting for my Code A license, which is for, for large motorcycle capacity. In other words, anything over 125 cc's in South Africa. Or is it over 50? I can't remember. Anyway, it, it, was, it took me the better part of 50 years to achieve that. And eventually uh, having to go to a, a school to be able to learn what I really needed to learn uh, to pass the exam, the test, the writing test, which is what it is. Uh, most of us think we have to rewrite the learners and then do a test again. No, no, it's not, not true. You actually do a driving test with a, an, with a test, testing officer and you have to follow a certain uh, procedures which I have to tell you if you did not do the school you might struggle to do it just by learning it on the net. Uh, there are some hints and advice that they give you the, the school instructor uh, that you wouldn't get otherwise. But anyway, uh, just to say that motorcycling as exciting as it sounds and when you look at videos and the high speeds and the, all the obnoxious sounds that you come across, and the vibe, the, the atmosphere, the people, the sinister part that I spoke about on one or two videos prior to this one is one that brings to memory an accident that I had. Uh, I, needless to say, I broke three metatarsals. I had two, sorry. Two, uh, three dislocations of my metatarsals and two subfractures. Um, morphine was my best friend for a better part of two or three months, which exceeded the time limit on uh, treatment on that particular drug as a result of the, pos the uh, possibility of people getting addicted to it and not being able to come out of it. Uh, uh, the reason for that is because I uh, have a history of uh, abuse and unfortunately I become a little immune to some of the uh, drugs that are administered for pain. And, but fortunately, thank God, always, all glory always to God for me not having had that problem. But it is to say that you can save yourself a lot of trouble on a motorcycle if you are to follow certain protocol. And one of them would be to get as much advice and do as much homework as you possibly can. Uh, join a club, go to school, learn how to ride properly, get, get, let, get lessons, but uh, most importantly, be prepared to break at least one ball. <laughs> uh, I think there are people that have never gotten hurt on a motorcycle. I had a uncle that's passed on and I've never heard of him have an accident. But he was a little bit more diligent than the majority of us, and he rode a, a BMW, a, uh, a cruiser of some sort. Uh, anyway, uh, obviously, 
uh, most of us will take the chance, the odd chance that we aren't meant to be taking. But yeah, if if you're from South Africa, uh, do it the right way, guys. When I say do it the right way, inform yourself as much as you possibly can, because uh, you don't want to end up with a stuffed up day, or in my case, a stuffed up couple of years, which forced me to get off commission as a rep and uh, make alternative arrangements. Anyway, this is just some quick advice. I hope you enjoy the rest of the footage of this place. I want to have the coffee. Let's give it a taste. Coffee's as good as it, good as it would be. I'm, I'm not going to make a big hype about it because I've had better coffee. But I'm hoping that the omelette is going to be good enough. So anyway, um, that's, that's what I have for you guys. If you want to come on and ride uh, do your homework I will bring a new video on uh, what happened to me with a couple of pictures just as a grim reminder of what can happen and I trust me I have seen much worse uh, I had it easy I didn't lose toes I didn't lose feet I didn't lose legs uh, a lot of the guys do and the bee sting certainly didn't go as deep as it could have gone so I was fortunate the guy did manage to take it out but I still feel it there uh, <laughs> just some of the hazards that come with motorcycling so yeah let's see what else I can bring you as the day progresses here Bring the machine, bring the machine, sir. All right, I think I'll leave you with this last bit of image. The atmosphere. And from here onwards, it will be on the motorcycle, whatever I can bring you. So, hope you've enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you on the other side where I conclude the video. On the highway, doing the kind of speeds. Sorry, the roads here, a uh, little bit bumpy there. Here's another coffee place. Um, so, you know, uh, if you can afford it, and uh, you're a biker, preferably, if you're a, if your only mode of transport is motorcycling. Uh, look, I understand on a four-cylinder of any kind, anything over a, a 300. In fact, in South Africa, you can't really run away from the petrol prices because the distances are so great here. Um, on the highway, 120 is hardly, hardly the kind of speed you'd wish you'd be maintaining even on the highway so there we go I found the uh, off ramp so uh, thank you Lord uh, thank you Lord that's what's written on the back of this Jeep here very cool check out the wind you see the dust uh, real Real, really not cool it's not something you want to do you want to so okay uh, as we enter the uh, the highway um, I don't think I should be filming because of the wind so I'm gonna pause this for now and bring you whatever yeah you see the cross here yeah? just missed it uh, that's bikes man that's bikes I was just very about that motorcycling as a whole and the sinister side of it 
Right, it seems we have arrived. Um, very windy. <laughs> uh, motorcycles, um, you know, they're lovely. They really are. But they have their limitations. In a windy day like today, at normal highway speeds, um, uh, it's yeah it kind of takes the pleasure out of riding a little bit um but anyway let's just summarize it was a well worth a couple of hundred rand unfortunately uh, wind makes the fuel efficiency even worse um especially headwinds uh, coming back i had a headwind so uh, needless to say you have to apply a bit more throttle to keep up with the speed I think a litre bike might not notice that as much. Uh, nonetheless, you will always have the drag coefficient affecting your fuel consumption. Uh, the reason why I say that is because I filled up before I uh, left. And as you see, look at these going down already. So that's not a good indicator. But it certainly took a quarter tank uh, from there to here, even though I wasn't quite complete uh, when I got there. I had another 20 odd case to do I think it was I took the wrong off ramp so I had to travel an extra 10 or 12 case anyway I hope you enjoyed it this was a another fantastic ride I hope I have been of assistance in bringing you uh, these choice breakfast runs so that you can find out what the best place is to go on a breakfast run or if you just like bikes you don't have a bike but you want to be amongst bikers bowl well, there you go I bring them all to you so uh, from Van der Beel, I'm home now, but uh, with love from South Africa to all of you. Thank you for coming on and I hope you like and subscribe. Keep supporting my channel. I'll see you on the next one. God bless. Cheerio. Bye bye.